Uh, good morning, fam. Uh, we are on the way to Skid Row. We're actually going to a hiring fair for homeless people. Um, yeah, my homie Orion hooked it up with this opportunity to just kind of connect with the local community in downtown Los Angeles, Skid Row. Uh, we're bringing Shih Tzu and I'm gonna go pick up Albert right now and we're gonna go check it out, so yeah. Yeah, we'll, uh, we'll be there in about uh, 25 minutes, I guess. I gotta stop and get gas. I gotta stop and get gas and get ice. And I brought Shih Tzu. I brought Oliver. So we can get so we can get photos with his Instagram. Good Shih Tzu, huh? Good Shih Tzu. This is the moment he was waiting for Mary. Get him, Mary. Get him, Mary. Get him, Get him, Mary. Get him, Get him, Get him, Get him, So we just hit Tent City uh, down here at Skid Row off of 6th and uh, South Central. And uh, wow, it just really set in what we're about to do today. So this is serious, you guys. It's, it's people's lives. It's where they live. <sighs> Glad I didn't bring Zoe, actually. No, here I am thinking like, oh, you know, it'd be good to get her to see like, you know, just how fortunate she is. Like to get to see like how, you know, some people actually live and yeah, you know, actually coming here now, Mary had a point. It's like, sometimes there's just something that's like just either too dangerous or just not age appropriate, you know? And this is rough, you know, this is rough. So we are at Without Shelter's hiring fair today where we are um, volunteers, we're going around capturing the day, but the event is there to um, find homeless people who are trying to, you know, they're without shelter and they're trying to get in, into a place where they can like get over the hump that they're in right now. And so what Without Shelter does is they bring them in, they interview them, they ask them to sell them something, they kind of train them on the spot as they're going through it. And then they pick the top 20 people that came through that have the, the most potential to be good salesmen and saleswomen. And they're gonna, tomorrow we're coming right back at it and we're training them. So we're having a sales professional come in and teach them how to sell. And then next week they'll be going door to door and practicing their sales. And so the whole idea is in the next 90 days, we're gonna take um, these individuals who are experiencing homeless right now and teach them how to fish, essentially, make money, and by the end of it, they're gonna get put into um, subsidized apartments where they can actually afford, based on the work that they have right now and, and going out and selling, they can actually afford to take themselves off the street and into a home. Awesome, awesome, and um, you know, Tell us about Orion. Orion hooked it up with, like that's his company, right? That's what he does, he just started it? Yeah. Okay, so what do you know about, what do you know about that? So Orion is a very interesting individual. He's, he's, uh, he thinks differently. I don't think he, he he's, he's not wired the same way as a lot of other people, where okay. he genuinely, he's not, 
you know, he's not making this company to to become rich and become a millionaire, right? Like his company's focus mm. has a social cause to it. Yeah. Um, he went out to Hawaii to get his master's yeah. um, and social something or other. Can't quite recall. Yeah, but, master's of social worker. He also yeah. just went to India for like a month. Yeah. yeah. And brought us along with us on LinkedIn. Yeah. So I mean, like this is this is what this guy eats breathes sleeps yeah. drinks like all of it like this is this is it for him was he homeless at one point he wasn't homeless oh, okay um, i don't know I, I i just thought for some reason that that came popped into my mind but i asked him once during uh my interview with him when i was out of dinner i was like man you're doing a lot for this community and i'm i was i wonder i was curious if he had some sort of connection to them and he does but it's not through being homeless it's through being somebody who has a diagnosed mental illness somebody yeah. who's dealt with addiction before and uh, those are how those are the two pieces that he really connects to this community on um and is trying to help them with that as well mental health, health mental healthness mental illness and addiction yeah just overall mental health yeah and he had people there to help him get through those moments and you know so he didn't have to do it on his own and that's the same thing that he wants to give to everybody out here is he wants them you know make sure that they know that they're not doing it on their own that they have somebody and they have an entire company now yeah. that's focused on them interesting yeah. awesome all right that guys that's why we're here that's why i'm here to help uh, you know show my support for orion the homeless community la that's why i'm wearing the la hat today so the CEO and co-founder of Without Shelter and I founded this company with my partner Crucio Herring II and he and I did this together out of a passion to want to help the community uh, not just get them employed but also get them into housing and teach them how to be entrepreneurs so it's not just about you know we want to we want to teach them skills sales skills how to be salespeople how to be entrepreneurs how to create something for themselves um, and if they want if they want that you know a lot of people are living on the street yes uh, the county is not really doing a lot for them they're putting them in shelters but we wanted to do more what what else could we do for them well it's about like creating jobs and also having a purpose you know so we wanted we wanted to do Um, so today we are here for Without Shelter, and Without Shelter is an amazing new organization that really sprung out of Skid Row and the need for jobs for people on the street. And um, my organization, The Sidewalk Project, is here to support, and we're a social activist arts organization, and we work directly on the street. Um, so what we focus on primarily is art and music. The people that were here today are part of our organization and they do work directly on the street. We always work right on the street because you know, we believe that that's where the action is. You know, asking people to come indoors is um, you know, sort of creating a barrier. We want to go directly to the street and relate to people in their own environment and create a sense of well-being. Essentially what we're doing is mental wellness with art and music and we, we want to create a very, exactly, a very inclusive atmosphere and build relationships, but we also do food and we do donations and we do harm reduction. I was formerly unhoused and I used to be a drug user and because of those experiences, um, I have a big um, heart people who are unhoused and who are drug users and who are sex workers so I care about marginalized communities because I understand them. I think 
Well, we started at, I got up at 7 a.m., but I've been working like this every day, but I'm so driven about this project and I'm so motivated about this. It's my passion, you know, it's my drive. It often gets me emotional because it's, it's not about me, you know, it's so much bigger than me. Uh, people that are coming to, for interviews today, I mean, they've been hustling their whole lives, not just uh, for what we sell, watches and t-shirts, but really for their lives to make it, you know, to get through the day, to get to their next thing in their life. And, you know, what we're doing is we're more of a grassroots organization. A lot of the organizations down in Los Angeles, they're big nonprofits, they're big corporations or whatever. And we're just two guys that really want to do, you know, th to make a difference. Society is looking at the homeless population as nothing but roaches and we need to be exterminated. We are no longer considered human beings anymore and people got to stand up and help us fight against that and let the world recognize that we are people. We are human beings. We're not some kind of rats that just runs in the sewer that you exterminate. We are human beings and the society is not looking at us like that anymore. We deserve homes too. God bless.